Hi everyone! In this video you will learn about solver syllables and their corresponding solfage hand signs. I will also show you a short history behind those and give you a chance to practice, so let's get started! So what exactly are solfage hand signs? Solfage hand signs are hand movements which represent the different pitches in a diatonic scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, and ti. Before we look into the hand signs, let's look at the short history behind them. In the 18th century, yes, that is super long ago, the solfa system was invented by this lady, Sarah Anna Glover, who was a music educator from England. Then later, this guy, an English reverend and choral director John Kerwin, developed hand signs based on Glover's system to help with sight reading of the music written on the staff. Often when we use hand signs, we hear this name Kodai, so who was he? Well, he was a Hungarian pioneer of children's music education who adapted the hand signs slightly and then integrated them into his teaching methods. His methods are very successful at teaching music, so they're widely used all around the world. Oh, and what is ethnomusicologist? It's a person who is researching folk music. Fancy word, huh? Alright, I hope that after this short history lesson, the different names that you might have heard for the hand signs are making sense now and you won't be confused anymore if you hear them again. So why do we use hand signs? Well, there's a few different reasons. First, they help reading the notes on the staff. They will help you with inner hearing. They will help you become a better sight reader. They will help you sing the pitches with more accuracy. They will help you understand more complex music theory concepts when you learn them later on. Let's now look at the hand signs that we use. I'm sure that you have all heard the song from The Sound of Music that goes Do, a deer, a female deer. In that song, all seven pitches of a diatonic scale are represented. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, and Ti. On this diagram, you can also see a high do, which is a repetition of the low do, but an octave higher. Let's look into the hand signs individually now. As you learn more about music, you will notice that there are some very important reasons why the hand signs look the way they do. This is do. It looks a little bit like a rock. Do is always the base for the scale. When singing do, you keep your hand at the waist level. You will move every pitch of the scale a little higher and finish at the eye level with the high do. Don't worry about this too much, we will practice it together a little later. Re looks like this. To show Re, straighten your fingers, keeping them together, and bring your hand up to make a 45 degree angle with the ground. Notice that the tip of your hand is pointing up toward the next pitch, which is Mi. To show Mi, keep the same hand shape, but move your hand so that it is parallel with the ground. To show Fa, Make a loose fist with four fingers, extend your thumb and point it downward. You will see your hand looking like this. To show so, straighten the fingers so that the hand has the same shape as in me, but tilted so that your palm is directly facing you. To show la, curve the hand gently with the palm and fingertips facing the floor. To show ti, make a loose fist, but point the index finger upward at about 40 degree angle with the ceiling. And now we're back to Do. Let's now try to sing the scale together with our hand signs. We will do it slowly first, then we will take it a little faster. Here we go. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. I think we're all set to do some practice now. We will do four different exercises. They will all help you get better using hand signs while singing or reading music. Let's start with the first one. You will see the name of the soulfish in front of you. Do your best to show the corresponding hand sign with it. Ready? We will start easy and then make it a little bit harder by mixing up the soulfish. Here we go.
Awesome! Now, let's mix it up! Here we go! Good work! Keep it going! You're doing great! Let's do a few more! And the last one. Great job completing the first exercise. Let's move on to exercise number two. In this next exercise, you will see the hand sign appear on the screen. You will then name the hand sign with its name, with the solfage name. Let's start. You're doing great! Keep on going! Not too hard, right? Let's do a few more! Congratulations! Now you are definitely ready for something a little harder. In this next exercise you will see two notes written on the staff. The first one will be a do, the second one will be a mystery and will not have a solfage name. It will be your job to solve the mystery and give the second note the solfage syllable name. Carefully read the pitches as the do will be moving all around the staff. Here's a little hint. When you're trying to guess the second note, it will help you if you count lines and spaces using a solfage syllables order, like in this example below. Alright, here we go! Good work, keep on going, and remember, the dough is moving all around the staff. Great work! Did you get this one? Keep on going! Let's do a few more. This one is a little trickier. Here's a hint. What soulfish comes right before do? It's D. Did you get it? Now let's move on to our last exercise. Two notes will be sung. The first note will be sung with a do. The second one will be a mystery and will not have a soulfish name. 
it will be your job to solve the mystery and give the second note the solver syllable name. I will sing the notes twice, just in case that you miss it the first time. Here's a little hint. When trying to guess the second note, it can really help if you sing the scale using solfish syllables to find it. Remember that I will sing the pitches twice. You've got this. Are you ready? Here we go. Listen carefully. Do, u, do. The answer is re. Let's now move on. Again, listen carefully. Do, u, do, u. And the answer is so. Let's move on to our next question. Do, do, do. And the answer is me. All right, this next one is going to be a little bit different, so listen very carefully. Do, And the answer is DO! It was the same pitch. Good work! Let's move on to this next one. Again, listen very carefully as there might be something different than what we just had. Again, listen very carefully and try to guess the second note. DO! Here's the answer. It is T. All right, and here is our last question of this practice. Listen very, very carefully and good luck. Do. Do. And the answer is hi do. Very good work. Congratulations. You finished all the practice. I hope that this video helped you understand and practice your soul for chance signs. If you liked it, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to just keep singing.